How's it going, guys? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, we have a problem. That I think that's going to hit us. I was just messing around with this stuff, trying to get this to, to work, and a meteor storm happened. And I always like to record before a meteor hits us, and I think this might be our first hit. Oh, no! Oh! That wasn't that bad, actually. Give us some ice. Those were really close. That was That almost hit us, and I don't think any others hit us. How are we doing? That hole was already there. Uh, we're doing pretty good. So I was just messing around with stuff, and uh, and I, I guess that was, that was a good portion to start the video with. Um, I've done a lot to the base so far, so stuff that I didn't think you guys might want to see. Uh, for instance, I made this little hallway, I added lights in it and everything, and so I think it looks pretty good. Um, it, it was just a lot of buildings, so that's pretty much why I didn't show it in the video. Uh, I'm also messing with the lights in, out here. Out in this place right here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a button panel, and button panels are a little bit complicated in Space Engineers. If you don't know how to use them, there's probably tutorials out there, but a basic a basic little tutorial for you guys if you don't know how to use it is you just go to button panel here, you've got your four buttons, you can uh, set up actions right here, and then I've, I've made a group of lights for blue pad. You drag them to these little areas, button one, two, three, four, and you can just tell them what to do. So this right here, I'm trying to figure out how to make the lights flash over and over, but it's not working terribly well. Uh, let's remove that from our toolbar. Um, regardless, the last one I want here is going to be a emergency light. You know what I might have to do is I might have to add all new lights. And... Because I don't think we can have a light mode. Like, I don't think we can have emergency light mode. Oh, my voice. Um, so what I want to do... This first one right here is open, close door. So you hit this button and it opens and closes. If the button's not working, you can just click on the door as well. Uh, it's just a cool little thing. Um, then this one right here is on off. And I've actually got to go in because because I messed it all up with what I was just doing. Let me just go in here real quick and decrease the blink interval to zero. There we go. Right, so this one right here is on off. So turn it on, turn it off like that. You got all these blue lights out here to show that this is the blue landing pad. And there's our cool little ship right there, which I haven't really done much with since last episode. So that's on off. I wanted this one right here to be a, uh, a blink light. So these would all start blinking. And this one right here, it would alternate between blue and red emergency flashing lights. Just in case the base ever like gets under attack by anything, which I don't think uh, would happen. But if it does, then we got to be prepared. Uh, let's see, I've also placed a couple more lights around here, and that's pretty much it that I've been doing. I've just been messing around. So what do I want to do this episode? I'm very, uh, I don't really know. Like, I know what I want to do, but there's two things that I want to do. First, I want to make a mining ship. So this right here is kind of a transport ship. It's got these little transport areas here. But I want a mining ship, one that I can go around here, go find some rocks, and mine into them automatically with the ship. Um, the only thing is, it's a little bit difficult for a ship to actually mine while in the atmosphere. Just because as you mine, you get heavier and heavier, and uh, and then these, these engines that keep you afloat stop working as well, just because you're getting heavier. So the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get into space. Now, there's no orbit in this game, which is very unfortunate, because I love orbital mechanics and stuff. It's so cool, I think, even though I don't know much about them. Um, and I would really love to have a ship get in orbit around this planet, and I think that'd be awesome. The best thing you can do uh, though in this game is become is do geostationary orbit, which is not it's not really orbit since the planets don't really turn, uh, but you can basically have a, a a little base floating up there. So that's one thing I want to do eventually, and as long as we can do that, I think we can probably find some asteroids to mine on, and that might work pretty well. So for that, we would need to create a, a ship that's capable of flying from here to there. Now here's the thing. I can already fly up there. Here, let me, I'll, I'll show you. We're going to have a little fun little adventure. Let me put on my helmet and let's fly. So we can already fly into space with our suit because it uses hydrogen. So we're, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go fly into space. No problem. No worries. There's our... Uh, oops, we're, we're starting to go that way. There's our home sweet home right there. We've got it marked so we don't lose it. Uh, I don't know how high space is. Can't be that high, right? But yeah, we just keep going up like this, and we'll hit space. Actually, I'm kind of curious. We can actually go to that planet if we want to. We can just fly to it, but that's not very fun. Actually, I don't know if we can fly to it. It, it, it might be a little bit far. Yeah, that, that is kind of far. Uh, but it's no fun to just fly to stuff uh, with your suit. It's more fun to build ships to do it like the realistic way, because in real life, you can't just 
You can't just turn, put on your suit and fly into space like we are doing right now. Ooh, look how beautiful it looks. By the way, if you wanted to put solar panels somewhere that would be the most effective, this would be the best place. Because you have the most range of the sun. So no, no worries. Just flying into space to see what the planet looks like from the outside. Uh, let's make sure we don't run out of hydrogen. I don't think we will. I think we have plenty. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of hydrogen. No worries. What's that over there? I don't know. Alright, we see the little atmosphere of this planet. Cool. What's our gravity? There should be a... Uh, maybe you only see that in ships. Oh, yeah. Um, planetary gravity is 0.68. You see that at the bottom, uh, bottom right, kind of. There's that P gravity uh, node thing. So there we go. Now we're in space. And we can look around and see what's here. There aren't very many asteroids or anything, which... Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, that's our moon. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be our first goal, I guess. Our stretch goal. We're going to try and get to our moon. I think that'd be kind of cool. Right now we're floating. You see our, our, our speed is zero meters per second. Uh, yeah, that'd be kind of cool to try and get to the moon. Because I think the gravity there would be quite uh, quite less than it is here. And it'd be a really good place to mine for materials. But what we need to do first for that is we need to create a ship. So let's get back down to our place. We turned off our dampeners just now. Uh, so we can start falling. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start building a starship. A ship that we can actually fly with. That'll be useful in the atmosphere as well as in space. Now there are two ways of well there yeah there are two ways of doing this having a ship that's useful in the atmosphere and in space. Um, the thing about this game is it's got different thrusters three to be exact. It's got the hydrogen thrusters, which I think are you can use in space or in the atmosphere. So that's one way of doing stuff. It's got the uh, look how fast we're going. It's got the um, ion thrusters, which are useful only in space. Dampeners. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, we're gonna die. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I messed that one up a little bit. So yeah, we've got the... Um, let me spawn in our medical room. We've got the ion thrusters, which are only useful in space. And then we've got, of course, the... Um, what are the other ones? Ion... Oh, the atmospheric thrusters, which are only useful in the atmosphere. So if you want a ship that can go in the atmosphere and in space, we are going to need either... Our body just disappeared. We're going to need either the hydrogen thrusters or a combination of the two thrusters that are uh, uh did you see that our body is going going through the ground okay well that's what happens when you use the unlimited speed mod if you hit too, if you go too fast your body will go through the ground so we've lost all our stuff we're gonna have to go make more tools unfortunately and more hydrogen tanks um but yeah the other thing you can do is a combination between ion uh thrusters and the standard atmospheric thrusters which works pretty well the only thing is when you do that it's a bit heavy to have both of them so but the upside is that you're not restricted by the amount of uh, hydrogen you have on your ship regardless though, i think we'll be we'll, we'll use hydrogen thrusters i think they're probably the best idea uh can i fly up there let's go up here and oh wait we have hydrogen tanks here don't we hydrogen tanks we'll grab three Next thing, we're going to go in here and we're going to make some... Uh, we're going to produce some tools, so we'll get level 2 of everything. Level 2 tools, by the way, are super helpful. They help me build these structures in far less time than it would have taken without. So let's see. Um, are you guys making? Yeah, they're making, so... We'll just hang out for a second and look at the sun as it rises. The beautiful, beautiful sun. Where is it? It's over there. They might be over here. Yeah. Anyways, the reason I died, by the way, I didn't explain that. Um, I, when, as I was falling, I forgot what button I'd clicked if I had turned off the dampeners or turned off the jetpack altogether. And so I was struggling to find the right button to press. And that'll do it. That'll kill you. So. No worries, though. No worries. Alright, we got our level 2 that, level 2 that, and level 2 that. Awesome. Um, the only thing we might run out of... We might run out of iron... But that's no big deal. Then we'll just go on a little mission. I can show you guys how mining works. Well, I've already shown you that, but I can show you how I get... How I get... Oh, no. Please. I can show you how I get to iron. Let's fly over here. Where's the meteor storm? Oh, there it is. Okay. There. You know what? Let's turn off these lights. It's daytime. You don't need lights. Save, save electricity. Okay. None of those are going to hit us. We are... Oh, actually, that one came close. We are good. 
Awesome, let's go start on our ship. So what we need here is we need a landing gear. So let's go get our landing gear. And I'm not sure how many episodes is going to take up building this ship. Um, it might take up quite a few. We'll see. So what we're going to do, I think we might build it on the ice. Just because the ice is flat and it will, it'll be easy to, uh, to work here. I need steel plates here. Okay, so let's go get some steel plates. I mean, the other the other alternative here is that we could build a super huge landing pad for our ship, but I don't know. That might not be the best idea. What do you guys think? Ice or super large landing pad? Uh, construction components and large steel tubes. Alrighty. Here's large steel. Um, put some of those back, actually. Like, maybe put, put, put like 30 of them back. We need some construction components as well, which are nowhere to be found. We need to make some. Okay. I think they're made out of just iron, so that's no problem. Production, construction components, make me a lot. How many do we need for this thing? A ten, okay. So that'll work. Awesome. And we'll go over here as well to get the motors that we need. How many motors do we need? I don't know. We'll just grab a hundred. Alright, let's go build on the ice. And unfortunately, we won't have our nice little um, our nice little cargo container with us to help us out, but it's all good. No worries. Do I have to... Really? Well, this is painful. Um, okay. Okay. Hang on. There we go. That's better. That's floating, but it's okay. So we'll build this thing up. And that right there is the start of our ship. So, making a big ship is just like making a small ship. Um, hang on. Oop, there we go. Uh, you just build off of the landing gear and you just go from there. So, this is our landing gear. And we'll just, um, yeah, we'll just start with a nice little base of the thing. The only difference, or the main difference with a big ship is that you can actually walk around inside it, typically. Whereas with a small ship like that, uh, I guess sometimes you can walk around inside it. But it's, it's usually just as a cockpit and that's it. So... Yeah. Honestly, I think we might do two landing gears in the front or something like that. I don't know. Or we could say these are the wings, maybe. This is going to require a lot of materials, so I don't know. Brace yourself for some fun material grabbing. Okay. That's looking about right for... Let's put another landing gear over there. So we have two on this side, and we'll do... Let's do two more on this side. One, two... And I'm just kind of going with it, spitballing here about what this, what we want this to look like. Um, is that, I can't tell if that's the, if that's facing the right direction. Yeah, that is facing the right direction. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong place though. <laughs> Rip. Okay, so let's grab our landing gear. Now, funny story actually, with um, with these big ships, they used to have huge problems with how they how they worked. Um, so I was making a big ship one time, and one of the glitches that used to be in the in, in Space Engineers about a year ago when I was playing is that big ships would randomly start floating up when you when you turn them on. And so the, the the way the glitch was working is that you'd have this ship, you turn it on, but the ship would act like it's in space. However, you had the inertial dampeners on, so it was trying to kind of keep itself still. So since it was acting like it was in space with no planetary gravity, it would just start floating up. Because it thought it should be pushing down to keep it afloat, but uh, but it didn't actually have to. So it would start floating up, and it was it, it it flew away. Your ship would actually fly away from you, and it was painful and annoying. But that's how things worked back in the old space engineers. I lost a nice ship I was building one time that way, uh, because it literally just it just started floating up into space. And what happened when it got into space? It decided that it could stop floating up, and it fell down to the ground and crashed. So that's that is <laughs> that's a good fun story from the old days of space engineers can we go and grab some of this stuff we're gonna need quite a bit so be prepared here we go there's our nice little ship look how cool it looks at this point uh, it's gonna take so long so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up doing most of the what I'm doing right now filling in the materials I'll do most of that off camera uh, whereas most of the planning things out, I will do on camera so you guys can see kind of what we're doing uh, when we're planning things out here. So 
That's just a little line so they don't break. I've got to worry too because a meteor, <laughs> a meteor could land on our ship. That would be bad. Okay, so these are these these two landing gears here, and you could probably fill this out as well. Okay, it needs construction components, but no worries. So how do we want this to work? I'm thinking honestly, we're just gonna have a big base at the bottom here, like something like this. Like it'll it'll come in like that. So we'll have this big base here. And there we go. Okay, so and then but here's the question, is that the front of the ship or the back of the ship? I'll say this is kind of the front of the ship, and then it'll go back that way a little bit. So that'll be the front there. And then what it's going to do, I think this will be the bottom of the ship here. So it's going to kind of come to a point, maybe, almost. Something like that. And, oops, those fall. Okay, rip those. And then what it's going to do, so this will be like the bottom of the ship. And then we'll have the, the um, like it'll go up as well. We'll have the, uh, the bridge would be up here or something. So that'd be where you would control the ship from. So let's just build this out a little bit. Very worried about meteor storms because they would shred this thing instantly. Okay, one more, one more out like this, and then we'll uh, cut it. Start coming to a, a rounded end, maybe. So here we go. Like this, and maybe one more like that, and then. Yeah, that, that'll be the front of the ship. So that's our front right there. Uh, looks kind of cool, like a front of a ship a little bit. So, <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so how do we want to do this then? So that's our front. So we're going to have to go up. This is going to take forever. <laughs> Let's come back like you, this a little bit. And we're going to... How many steel plates do we have, actually? 91. So we can build 90, 91 more of these things. All right. So we'll come back like that. So it gives kind of like a wing here, kind of like a jutting out edge a little bit. And then it's going to go kind of straight uh, back a little bit. All right, so let's fill in this little bit here. And then here, right here, is where I want to have one of our main engines. So let's go out this way a little bit. So like that. And then one like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have like this. And I just actually don't know how big the engines are. So let me, let me real quick fill this in a little bit. So then we can go and see uh, how big we need to make it. So what was it doing? It was doing one. And we're out of, we're out of light armor blocks. To be continued. Let's go get some more blocks. Here. All right, we'll grab that because we're going to throw it in the refinery thing. And then we don't have any in there, unfortunately. So let's come back up here. Hello, assembler. How's it going? Throw that stuff in because it'll start instantly start making that into iron, which we need. Assembler, give us everything you have and also make me a bunch of steel plates. I don't know if you have enough iron to make that many, but just do it. How's this looking? Is this starting to look like a, a ship? Maybe a little weird, but that's okay. Okay, so we wanted one to come out right here. So, right there. And then the next one would be one, or another one out. So, right there. Correct? Yes. Okay, and then one, two. All right, so let's take out our engines real quick. We have our, uh, well, let's, let's see if we can get some hydrogen engines, because that's what we wanted to use, right? Oops, I tabbed out of the game there. There we go. G, we want hydrogen. Uh, we're going to want hydrogen thrusters. Large hydrogen thrusters. So, oh my god, this thing is huge. So how are we going to attach this to our ship? We want it to be facing down. Kind of like that. So let's just... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Face down. So here we go. Two. And let's try and face this down a little bit. 
There we go. So that's our hydrogen thruster. And I actually got an achievement for placing that. But uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to have... We're going to place blocks around the hydrogen thruster like this. So that it's kind of enclosed a little bit. There we go. That's our hydrogen thruster, number one. So it requires a 3x3 three three area, so that's that's okay. Let's do one more. So 3x3. Three three. Like so. There we go. Awesome. And then we're keeping this level as well. So that's our main hydrogen thrusters. That'll, that'll keep it afloat. And I think we might have two more back here as well. So those are main hydrogen thrusters. And then we're going to come back to kind of the the normal so if you can see it, it's like it's got like this normal that's the normal area it has a little wing and then comes back a little bit and then it's gonna go well, let's have it go a few blocks worth here before we get that second engine in so we'll do the same thing here okay come back okay yep I'm just making sure I'm doing it the same as the other side all right, and then we'll have to go a couple lengths here. Are you guys level? Yeah, you guys are level. And then right here, we'll have it come back out again. And we're going to run into that tree, unfortunately. So let's knock this down. There we go. Tree's knocked down. And this might be more of a, a boring episode, but it's, it's a design episode, kind of. So... All right, so right here. Oops, messed up a block there. Okay, so one, two, three, then we'll go one, two, three, four. There's our next engine, so come back here. All right, and that's pretty much going to be the end of the ship there. So we're going to do the same thing on this side right here. So what it's going to be is it's going to be a big ship. Um, that's going to be our bridge area. We're going to have a big thruster there, a big thruster there, and then two more right there pointing down. So that's how we're going to get off the ground. That's going to be our main thrust pushing us up to the skies. And then it's going to go back a little bit farther this way right here, and it's going to come to a close right about there. Now in the back, we're going to have thrusters pointing this way so that we can have some forward thrust. Uh, and of course, we're going to have thrust a couple thrusters, not too many, maybe two. Uh, maybe even one uh, pointing pointing up so that we can go down as well we'll have side thrusters probably uh, we might even put those in here in these little divots here uh, point to the side so we can go to the sides and that should be uh, pretty much it so um, let me go and work on this a little bit off camera and I'll come back and we'll see how far I've gotten so uh, I'll be right back and we're back we've been working on the ship and another meteor storm has, is hitting uh, that's not good that one might hit our ship and I'm sad that that might happen please don't please be friendly after this i'll show you what we've done and uh and we'll get on with it um oh my god <laughs> if we had built any more of the ship it would have gotten hit wow that is crazy okay so we've done some work on the ship and we've done well not that much work on home um I guess since we're here, we'll show you the ship. We've been working on a little bit of this, so we've gotten a couple of these more, uh, filled out. We've also filled out most of the area for the ship. There's still a lot of the back of the ship that we've got to fill out, but for now, here's the front. So we've, once again, we've got our four engines here. Uh, I've decided to do a cool little uh, maintenance area, like a downstairs area. Now, this is really close to the ground, actually. I just hurt myself. It's really close to the ground, but this ship typically won't be on the ground. It won't be landed. It'll usually be flying, most likely. So it'll be hovering or something. Um, and if it's landed, we'll have to land really carefully just so that uh, we don't touch the ground here. Otherwise, we might bring these landing gears down one. I don't know. But the way the ship is laid out right now is that there'll be... Uh, this will kind of be... Well, this won't be the bridge. This will be the front. But the bridge will be kind of up here a little bit because it's going to actually get a little higher. Uh, and then you'll be able to walk around all of this. This will all be area that you can walk around. There'll be windows and everything. Uh, I'll have windows around this so you can see the thing. So what you'll be able to do is you can actually go down these... There, there'll be stairs here that go down, and there'll be stairs that go up right there as well. I don't know if I want to have my light on with that glare or off with that darkness. Uh, and then there'll be stairs on the other side as well. So what's going to be down here is there might be a window right here. There might be... Um, I might have hydrogen tanks or something so you can check on levels 
Uh, maybe I won't put the hydrogen tanks down here because it, it's it's the lowest area, so it's going to explode if it touches the ground. But um, I'll have something down here. It's kind of like a maintenance area. Uh, and if you don't want to go down like that, you can you go up right here. I'll have a little stairs that go up as well. And I don't know what we'll have here. Maybe window or something. It's just a little area. And then furthermore, if you don't want to go up or down, uh, you'll be able to go... Oops. Can't climb, apparently. You'll be able to go around like this. So this will also be an area. And same on the other side. So that's that's how our ship is going to be laid out. Uh, we're, once again, we're still working on it. It's going to take a long time. A lot of work to do. But uh, but it'll it'll get here eventually. Um, we've got our assemblers or assembler period working. Uh, we added a speed module. Actually, let me show you that. We've got it working on steel plates currently. So let's go back in here. Oh, it's nighttime. Why not turn the lights on? There they are. <laughs> so we got our assembler working hard. Here we go. See, we've got plenty of steel plates. I think it's just stopped. Uh, yeah, it just ran out of materials. I, I threw so much iron in here, like a whole lot of iron, but um, but we have plenty of materials, so no worries. Uh, I'm going to have to go on a couple more trips. Speaking of trips, the way I get my iron is like so. I've added, instead of having a bunch of small um, containers, now I have me medium cargo containers, two of them to be exact. So they carry 33,000 liters each, whereas the other ones carried only like 4,000 each. So we've greatly increased our capacity on this ship. The only thing is that as it gets heavier, it gets harder to fly. So I've got to be careful with that. But other than that, it's working out pretty well. Uh, let's continue going here. And I'll be right back. And I'll, I'll hopefully have a little bit more of this ship done. And uh, see you guys in a second. This is what it's like when I'm trying to bring my ship back, by the way. I'm not touching the controls right now. It's trying to slow down. Look how slowly it slows down. This thing. This is how I have to turn. Like, I'm moving my mouse across my mouse pad right now to try and turn this thing. Oh my god, it's crazy. But it looks cool. This is the art of getting iron. Currently, I have about 70,000 iron. 70,000 liters of iron. Is it in liters? Kilograms? Look at look at how heavy the ship is, actually. You can see it on the side. It's uh, 27,000 kilograms. That's crazy. That is insane. All right, I, I, well, I guess I'll show you the landing. Here, here's how everything works. So we're going to go ahead and go land our ship here. It's going to be very, very sketchy, but uh, but it's necessary. This is how we get our iron that we need for our ship. So let's go. I'm so glad I made this thing, by the way, this ship, uh, because it, it just helps so much. I'm carrying, um, I think, four, I'm carrying nine loads of iron here. So typically I'd have to go to the iron deposit nine times. But with this ship, I can go once and carry nine loads. And you can see the ship down there on the on the bottom right. Let's go in for landing. It's going to be a little bit. We have to we have to be very careful when we're doing this here. Okay, okay, ease it in. If I move forward, the ship starts going down because it takes away from the power of keeping the ship up. Okay, ease it in. Ease it. There we go. We're getting there. Okay, and. We have landing. Awesome. That's how the ship lands. That's how we do that. And now, you know, you know what I do? I just go over here, bring all the iron that I have in my inventory uh, to the refinery, just like this. See? Boom, there's some iron. And uh, and you'll see, that was 9,000 or 8,000. This is how much I have in one container. And that's how much I have in the other container. So you can see how much iron I have to bring back all the time just to make that ship and to get our base made as well. All right, back to working on the ship. All right, we're about to end the episode, but before we do, oh my god, that one might hit. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is what I've done this episode. So what we've done is we've we've pretty much made the mega ship. Well, we've, we've designed it a little bit. Next episode will be going, well, hopefully by next episode I'll have all this kind of filled out, or at least most of it. Um, and, th and that'll be how we're going to start the episode. But next episode we're going to be designing a little bit more of this. Uh, because it's going to take a couple of episodes to actually design this. But I like to end the episode uh, right now. Because it's still in its very early design phases, which means if you're watching the video now, you can easily have an input on what we do with this ship. What do you think we should do? Do you like this little area where you can go down or up? Uh, what do you think we should do on these sides? And what do you think especially we should do in this front here and also in the back? Post those down in the comments and I will definitely check those out. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. And until then, I'll be working hard on getting this ship in a ship shape. No pun intended. See ya!